Hello, my name is Sarita and I'm speaking to you today from Soul Henge. And I'm here to help you understand the truth about who you are. Now, what I wanted to share with you today is a really powerful new manifesting technique that I have devised. And it works around the premise and the truth that you are an electromagnetic being and your heart center has more power than any other center in your whole body, specifically in terms of manifesting. So what scientists now know and have now known for a long time is that everything has electromagnetic field around it. So you have an electromagnetic field, I do, plants, animals, objects, the earth, everything has electromagnetic fields and science is able to measure these fields now. And what's been coming up is that the electromagnetic field of the heart, the electric field of the heart is a hundred times stronger than the electrical field around the brain. And the magnetic field around the heart is 5,000 times stronger than the magnetic field around the brain. And this is really, really important to understand when you're manifesting, because many people try manifesting using affirmations and affirmations is only half the process what you're doing when you're affirming something or when you're creating an image of something that you want to manifest in your life is that you are using your brain to do so but when it comes to pulling something into your manifested reality you need the magnetic power of the heart to assist you. Now, a really good example of this is um, an incident that occurred during the year of 9-11. Now, America has two satellites, one in the northern and one in the hem southern hemisphere. And those sat satellites send back data every 30 minutes to head office telling head office what the electromagnetic field around the earth is doing. Now, obviously they've been doing this for a number of years and what they've noticed is that there are norms, you know, that this data arrives within specific lines. And what happened in 9-11 that they noticed that at one point the electromagnetic frequency, the the energy around the earth completely and utterly spiked massively out of the norms. And what they did was when they saw this data, they were trying to work out why this had happened, why there was suddenly after years and years and years of data, a massive spike. And what they did was they put a historical calendar behind the data and they found that this spike occurred in the moments after 9-11 happened. And what they surmised from from this was that basically the electromagnetic fields around the hearts of all the humans on earth had caused that spike. So basically our heart centers were opened and the spike occurred. And what this means is that the way you feel on the inside affects matter on the outside. And if you consider that there are electromagnetic fields around everything, what it means is that you can use your heart center to change what's happening in your manifested reality. And science is beginning to discover loads and loads of correlations between electromagnetic fields around things like cells, the immune system, brainwave function, weather patterns that can be affected by groups of people working with the intention to change them. And this is huge. This is powerful, powerful information for you to know if you want to manifest something. And what's coming in now also with science, but what has already been verified by the shamans in our past and ancient texts and some of our more you know, amazing spiritual leaders that walk the earth like Buddha and Jesus, they all said the same thing. You need to go within to change the without. And they all, all of them talked about the power of gratitude and the power within our hearts. So... This is why it's imperative to use your heart center when you want to manifest something. And as I said, I'm going to share with you at the end of this video a new manifesting technique that I have created using the magnetic 
power of the heart. Now, another thing I wanted to mention here before I go into that technique is basically when you're manifesting, you are manifesting from within source consciousness. And what happens when you're manifesting into this reality, although we appear solid in this third dimensional reality, really everything that you're looking at that you can sort of touch, taste, smell, you know, appears solid is both a particle and a wave. So I'm made up of things that are both particle and waves. And what you're doing when you are manifesting is you are pulling potential waves from the source field. You're pulling them from the source field using the magnetic power of your heart into your reality. And as you pull these waves of potential into your reality, they slow down and down and down and down and down until they are vibrating at a frequency, which is so, it's it slowed down, but it's so, it's actually, it, that is actually really fast for the human eye to see, but it, it's so slowed down that it appears solid. But what's happening is we're with our attention using our heart and our mind, we are pulling those waves into the now and turning the waves into both particle and waves. And because everything in solid form is both a particle and a wave, we can also change that. We have the potential to change that. Nothing is fixed. Everything in the whole universe is in motion. And that's really important to understand as well. So you can change anything. You can change your DNA. You can change your cells. You can change your health. You can change your life. You can change your relationships. You have the power to do all of that. You just need to be able to find a technique that works for you. And when you're using your techniques, never, ever, ever forget to use the magnetic power of the heart. So when you're manifesting, you're using your brain as the electrical frequency to send the thought out and your heart as the magnetic power to draw the manifested reality back to you. Now, also, the other thing that everyone always talked about, as I've just said, is the frequency of gratitude. And what I found with working with my students and all the sort of trials that I've done myself and all the stuff that I've read is that gratitude is extraordinarily powerful because it makes the assumption that what you're manifesting already is in your present moment. Because when you're grateful for something, you it has already arrived. You're grateful for it. And we really feel the effects of linear time. You know, we've created this structure of linear time. But in the quantum field, and when it comes to manifesting, linear time does not exist. Because you are pulling... Um, quantums from the quantum field into your reality and they don't go oh no that's already happened i can't come in or that's in the future i can't come in if you can feel something in your present moment as you know you're doing a visualization or a manifestation um then then what will happen is you'll pull those from source field into your present moment and it's by your focus that you pull things in so that's why it's so important to get your heart and your brain in coherence because when you do that, you come into present moment and you're moving and working with the source field. And that's why gratitude is so important because gratitude puts you exactly in the present moment, in the now. And that's why the frequency of gratitude is so amazing. And obviously, as you can imagine, it's a high vibrational frequency. You know, it's it's one of those frequencies that is closest to love. You know, you're in appreciation. You're really loving something because it's already come into your life. And that is how you manifest. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking and I'm now going to share with you my new manifestation technique, which I think is incredibly powerful. And as I've said, it's an amalgamation of all different techniques that I have taken from all different people and what I think really, really works. But if this technique doesn't work for you, then try something else because we're all different and we all visualize things in different way and we all feel things in different ways. So try as many techniques as you can but always, always make sure that you're using techniques that use heart-based intention and the frequency of gratitude, because really those are the most two important things that you will need to manifest anything into your life.
And having said that as well about the fact that we're all different, if you're in the middle of my my meditation that I'm about to share with you and I tell you to, you know, turn right and you feel like turning left, do that because you are a sovereign being and you know more than anyone what you need to do in a manifestation at any given time. So what I'm sharing with you is only my guidelines, but you know, use them as you will. But if you feel like doing something different, follow that, follow your sovereign power and your inner knowing. Okay, so I am actually going to stop talking now. So let's begin the meditation. So if you can, I would like you to sit up just so that you don't go to sleep and you're a bit more physically aware. But if you can't because you've got um, problems with your body, then by all means lie down. The main thing is that you're relaxed and you can let go. And saying that, I'd like you to take a breath in and out and let go of this whole conversation. And you're just going to begin to follow your breath. You're going to allow your breath to center you, to bring you into the present moment. And now we're going to begin the manifestation technique. And the first thing that I would like you to do is to begin to feel all of the energy inside your whole body. So just allowing yourself to come into an awareness of yourself as a vibration, as a frequency, and feeling the vibration within your own form. And as you feel this frequency, allowing your awareness to expand beyond the confines of your third dimensional form into all of the space around you. So expanding your awareness into the source field, into source consciousness. And feeling your place as a vibration within that source field. and expanding your awareness to understand the infinite nature of the source field within you and around you and beyond you. The infinite space of all that is. And as you feel this space of the source field around you, beginning to see in your mind's eye the infinite waves of potential that exist within this field. Infinite waves vibrating all around you, filling up all of space. And 
as you feel your vibration and all of space beyond you holding this infinite waves of potentials I want you to bring a focus into the middle of your head finding a dot of present moment awareness in the middle of your head. And just feeling this energy center with your present moment awareness within it. holding you in the now, in this present moment. And as you hold your awareness of this present moment, allowing a small part of your awareness to rise up above your head and find the energy center which is about a foot above your crown and this energy center is the portal from energy to matter And as you feel the presence of this energy center, can you open it just a little so that it is opened in expectation of receivership? So you're opening the energy center above your head, the portal, and at the same time you are keeping an awareness of the energy center in the middle of your head, the present moment dot of awareness. And keeping a light awareness on both of these energy centers, I want you to drop your attention into your heart center, feeling this magnetic center within your body. And so now, your focus is on the three energy centers yourself as a vibratory being and the source field beyond you with those infinite waves of potential. This is your architecture for manifesting. And keeping your awareness on your three energy centers, I want you to go out into the source field and pull one of those waves of potential towards you. And you can use a symbol for this or if you prefer, just see that wave of potential as a choice, a choice wave that you have chosen 
and you are pulling that wave towards you and towards the portal above your head. And as that wave arrives in the portal above your head, I want you to begin to pull it down through the portal and towards the crown of your head. And you're going to see that potential melting into your head and arriving at the energy center of the present moment. And as it does so, you are going to turn this wave into both a particle and a wave. And you are going to begin to create an image inside your head of your manifestation. So you are going to see yourself at the end result of your manifestation. Really seeing as a third dimensional image what you are creating and allowing your imagination to unfold this image within the energy center in the middle of your head in the present moment so you are imagining it as if it is happening right now. going to pull this image down through your body until it arrives in your heart center. So allowing your awareness and the image of your manifestation to drop down, down through your body until it lands into your heart center. And now we are going to use the magnetic quality of the heart and our breath to expand this image and send it out into the source field as a manifested creation. So you are going to breathe into your heart and as you breathe into your heart, the image is going to expand outwards from your heart. So you're going to breathe into your heart Expand the image outwards. Breathe into your heart. Expand the image outwards. Breathe into your heart. Expand the image outwards. And with every in-breath, your manifested image is becoming bigger and bigger 
and bigger. And your heart is sending this image outwards all around you into the source field, bigger and bigger and bigger, projecting it as information out to the source field, showing the source field your desired manifestation. And as your image meets the source field, I want you to begin to feel with all of your heart the emotion and the frequency of gratitude. So it is like you are projecting out into the source field this huge manifestation like a cinema screen where you are acting out the end result of your creation, full of the emotion of gratitude, feeling with every fiber of your being that joy, that appreciation, that excitement, that peace, full gratitude for your manifestation already achieved within this present moment. Feeling with all your heart how you are acting, what you are saying, how you are being, how it is feeling. How you are living your life with this future made manifest in your present moment. And feeling all of that gratitude being projected outwards from your heart into the source field. Magnified real, created by you, for you. And as you feel yourself at the center of this manifested reality, having a deep awareness and knowing that the source will bring back to you this creation as a mirror for this is the law. Everything that you project out into the source field must come back to you.
and breathing a few more breaths of deep gratitude, filling up your heart center with this emotion. Knowing that gratitude is the ultimate state of receivership. And as you sit in the center of your manifested creation, I want you to feel it all around you ever present as you gently come back into the room and open your eyes knowing that when you get up from this meditation that you will have created a new reality for yourself and as you open your eyes, you will walk in a different way. You will talk in a different way. And you will live in a different way. Now, at the center of this new creation. So when you're ready, opening your eyes. And so at this point, you should be able to feel that whole creation sort of all around you, filling your magnetic field that you have just expanded and expanded out to source consciousness. And as you go about your day-to-day -day life, if the idea of what you're manifesting comes up in your mind, just see, see this image of your expansive heart with your beautiful manifestation in it and hold that image with you at the center in present moment awareness, knowing that you are at the center of that manifestation and it is coming towards you. It is all around you and you are its center. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. For me, that's an extraordinarily powerful manifesting technique. And, um, yeah, if you try it, let me know how it goes. Thank you very much for listening.